Pilar, how long have you been standing there? I just walked in the door. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting, but I really need to speak with you, Mrs. Crane. Of course. I'll get it. Yes? I thought you were still at the school pageant rehearsal. I left. There was a message on the answering machine from Teresa when I got home. She said she was with a friend, but her friends haven't seen her. Oh, you must be worried sick. No, Teresa is up at our cabin with Ethan. At your cabin with Ethan? Julian had some papers he needed Ethan to sign, so he sent Teresa up. Let me write down the number so you can call her. Thank you. I, I really need to speak with her. Oh. Well, I'm sure she's fine. Ethan is with her. I just hope that Gwen made it through the snowstorm. Gwen? Gwen is on the way up there? Well, Teresa left first with the papers that Julian wanted Ethan to sign, so I imagine she got there before Gwen. Oh, no. What, is something wrong, Pilar? Is something else bothering you, Pilar? I really don't want to... Is it about what Julian told Luis about your husband? I can imagine that Luis is very upset. Yes, he was. And he's not home tonight, and, I, and I'm worried that he may be trying to find his father. Pilar, we've known each other for a long, long time, and I consider you a friend, not just an employee. I know. Yet in all that time, you've never talked to me about your husband's disappearance. That's personal, Mrs. And very painful, I know. But you haven't heard from him in all these years? No. Not a word. It's odd. You always gave me the impression that he was a strong family man, dedicated to you and the children. Yes, he was. His family came first, then the church. He was a good, decent man. And yet he embezzled money from Crane Industries? With all due respect, Mrs. Crane, I don't believe that. Nor do I believe that he deserted the family. Then why did he leave? I don't know. But I know my husband, and he loved this family above all else. My feeling has always been that he left in order to protect us. It's the only reason he would leave. Why or who forced him to leave, I don't know. Have the chauffeur take you home, Pilar. No, it's okay. I'll take the bus. No, it's late. I insist. And don't worry about Teresa. She's going to be fine. And Pilar, I want you to know that I am always going to be your friend. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. Good night. Good night, Pilar.